Hi Big Tractor Power fans, it's corn planting time and in this video I would like to share with you the corn planting process on a western Kentucky farm. Corn planting normally begins in this region around the 15th of March with the goal to harvest the corn starting around the 20th of August. This farm plants much of its corn crop with a Case IH Early Riser 2150 16 row 30 inch corn planter. In this video, we'll spend some time out in the field with the early riser operated by a 470 horsepower Case IH 470 Rotrack tractor. But first, we're gonna take some time to go back to the fall when primary tillage took place. This farm utilizes a strip till method where in the fall, primary tillage takes place by working up 30 inch rows where the corn will be planted next season. The corn planting process begins in the fall following the double crop soybean harvest. This farm utilizes three Class 9 Case IH 9240 Axle Flow Combines. They're harvesting the second crop of soybeans that was planted after the wheat harvest in the summer. These big 550 horsepower machines with 410 bushel tanks harvest the crop and spread the remaining residue back on the field. The soybean residue in wheat straw that is left after the double crop bean harvest helps anchor the soil to fight erosion during the winter months and also adds nutrients back into the ground. To further aid in fighting erosion, the farm plants a rye crop or a cover crop over the surface of the field to help anchor that soil from winter rains and snow. This farm plants the rye cover crop with a Case IH 500T 40 foot wide precision air drill. This drill is planting the rye at 30 inch spacings, leaving a gap between the seeded areas because they will then follow the seeder with a strip till implement that will dig up the ground and prepare the seed bed for next year's corn crop. Operating the 500T precision air drill is a 380 engine horsepower Case IH 380 CVT Magnum tractor. After the rye crop has been seeded into the field, the farm uses a Kuhn Krauss 1205 Gladiator strip till. This 40 foot wide implement has 16 rows that are spaced at 30 inches. The implement digs down in the ground at nine inches to help fracture compaction from all the harvesting traffic from the wheat harvest in June and the soybean harvest in October. It also loosens the soil right where the corn seed will be planted in the spring. This really works very much like a primary tillage implement in the fall and a secondary pass in the spring with a field cultivator. The soil is very loose and ready to be planted in and it helps warm the soil quicker where the corn seed needs to go in the spring while not disturbing the entire surface of the field. Operating the 1205 Gladiator is a 470 horsepower Case IH 470 Rotrack tractor. The strips that were worked up during the fall begin to warm up in mid-March to the right temperature to begin planting corn. The rye cover crop is now dying off and it's done its job over the winter to hold the soil and fight erosion. The Case IH 470 Rotrack tractor and 2150 Early Riser planter then worked their way across the field planting the corn crop just in the ground that was worked up on those 30 inch spacings in the fall. This big 470 horsepower tractor is on tracks which allows it to move across the field smoothly and helps reduce compaction in the rows of corn. The tractor is traveling at about six and a half miles per hour with the early riser corn planter. This big planter will hold 100 bushels of seed before it needs to be refilled and will cover around 200 acres a day.
This tractor is utilizing GPS. Case IH's advanced farming system keeps the machine on an exact 40-foot pass across the field, following the same exact course that the tractor with the strip-till unit did in the fall. It's also following the same path that the combines did during the harvest. This way, every pass across the field is exactly 40 feet wide. This big tractor is equipped with two large stainless steel tanks mounted on the front of it. The tanks carry starter fertilizer that are applied with the corn seed through the planter. When the planter and tanks need to be refilled, the tractor drives back to the trucks to be filled up. You might have noticed four treaders on the back of this planter. That is the Yetter yield track system that help penetrate the soil and aerate it where the tractor's tracks and the corn planter's wheels have compacted the soil. The weight of those two 50 bushel tanks will compact the soil and pinch it right in those areas and these treader wheels help aerate the compacted soil to allow water to penetrate the ground and help break up that compaction and reach the roots of the corn that has been planted there. Once the new corn crop begins to grow and emerge from the ground, the farm applies a nitrogen fertilizer by side dressing the growing plants with anhydrous ammonia. The operation uses 470 horsepower row track Steiger tractors to fit down between the 30 inch rows and apply the fertilizer 40 feet per pass.
This farm works to reduce compaction of its fields as much as possible by utilizing tracked tractors and combines, as well as utilizing 40-foot wide implements like the Kuhn Krauss Gladiator Strip Till and the Case IH 2150 Erdely Riser Planner. The farm further reduces that footprint by harvesting at 40 feet in the fall with Case IH 16 row corn heads, keeping the tracks of the heavy machinery in the same spot throughout the entire growing season. I hope that you've enjoyed spending time on this Western Kentucky farm, seeing the corn planting process with this big Case IH farm equipment. I'd like to hear in the comment section below what brand of equipment you use to plant your corn. Are you running on no-till, strip-till, or conventional tillage? If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.